We have our side, our side arms, our base plate, and what we'll do next is put together the front, the front plate. And we have our two small, two small brackets here. And these will just, uh, the screws will just follow through the holes and hold these brackets in place. So we'll just pop four nuts here. And what we need is four 12 millimeter screws. And we'll just start to put our sides on. So just pop the screws in the side. And you'll see the screw pass through the nut and then just into the into the bracket. And what you'll see is just on the inside of the bracket you'll see the screw holding the bracket in place. We'll put our bottom screw on. Oops. There we go. So we have our screws passing through the nuts holding the brackets in place and we'll just do the same for the other side. Whoops. It's fiddly work. Awesome, almost there. One more screw to go. Make sure the nut doesn't fall out like me. Awesome, looking good. Now you can you can see him starting to come to life now. So what we're going to do next is we'll put the top on, and then we'll put the we'll put the base plate on, and then we'll be ready to put the back on. So. Before we before we actually place the nano into the top section, let's just get all the wiring done first. Now this is a very fiddly part of the process, and you will have a lot of cables going everywhere. Um, but once once you've got it wired up and and you can close it up, then you'll be good to go to get to get coding.